there so this training is going to be on how to rank videos on YouTube now before we get going I just wanted to quickly introduce myself my name is Ivana Boschnak and I am one of the partners of Soci Masters just in case you don't know me now uh, before we get going I just wanted to ask you to click on the subscribe button to our channel because it always helps us uh, to bring in more new content that's quality to you and this way you get notified when we do it now, uh, what are we going to cover inside of this training? Well, the most important parts of ranking YouTube videos. Things change all the time, but these are the things that we have noticed that work very well for us. Now, having said this, um, what uh, we need to start with what your content needs to be all about. So in this case, uh, as I just did introduction of what I am go going to talk to you about in this video, um, you should always ask your viewers to subscribe to your channel because they tend to forget. Uh, you need to tell them what you're going to teach and that's exactly what I told you. I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to rank your videos. Um, you should always use a call to action. So uh, having a video only is not enough. You want them to lead over to another website or your a business page or your clients page depending on what you're using YouTube for so make sure you're giving them call to action inside of the video as well um, and also inside of this description uh, and you can also ask them to subscribe to your channel at the end of the presentation because oftentimes at the very beginning people may not want to but if they like the content towards the end they will and you can also ask them to leave a comment below now why are we doing all of that because the engagement that YouTube sees from other people who are viewing it and you want to make sure that the content that you have is quality because if you don't have that uh, you are going to lose the viewers and if uh, people don't uh, watch until the end uh, YouTube does not think of your video as quality now another thing is that the content should be around 10 to 20 minutes I've noticed that the sweet spot for me is around 15 minutes so I try to really uh, make sure I'm in that uh, time frame now um, like I said before the content should be quality and it should be shareable if possible so tutorials do very well interviews might do very well very good presentations can do very well i've shared just over the last couple of days some videos through whatsapp through uh, viber because they were just fabulous the content was just amazing so it's should it should really be um you know a, a quality content so uh what we are going to cover is uh, how to show up inside of the uh, search results on the side of the video um, as a recommended for you know what's coming up next um, we are going to cover how to get the initial boost which is a power tip um, and why we are going to tell you to rinse and repeat so let's get started with this so you'll need to go over to canva.com to create a thumbnail image and I'm gonna go over here I already have an account created uh, for uh, our company Soci Masters and they have a uh, lots of different templates so if I click on one of these I can scroll over and just look for YouTube thumbnails and I actually just skipped it right here so if I click here it already gives me pre-made YouTube thumbnails that stand out very well so um, I would just scroll through and select the one that I want to work with so let me just do this I prefer having like image and a, a text next to it uh, let me see um, so the image this one might be good because I would just need to change the um, yeah that would be a good one so use this template um, the reason why I'm going to use this one is because I can easily change colors inside of Canva and text is already made for me right there so what I'm gonna do is click on delete for this image right here the color I like to use uh, the colors that we use for our Soci Masters so this would be it I'm gonna type in uh, YouTube ranking okay let me just uh, make this a bit smaller it's too big uh, this is gonna get deleted um, okay and I'll make this a little bigger right now 
I don't spend way too much time on this, but still, uh, thumbnail is extremely important. Now, let me see if I can. Okay, so I like this right here. Uh, I can maybe even make it into black. I'm, it might stand out. Yeah, well, that's not black, black. Uh, let's see, that's black. Okay, and then I'm gonna move this and add in a new photo. And what's really cool with Canva, on the left-hand side, you have so many uh, elements. So uh, let's just go here with uh, play button. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna filter and make sure I'm using free. Yeah, there you go, you see? You see how easily I can add in this right here. So it works very well for what I'm trying to do. So just to show you how simple it is to use this and create on the right hand side right here, you just click on download and the image gets created. Now, now another thing that you need to do before you are ready to select your keywords, which are important. So the keywords I go for personally are those that I would type in searching for the content. So in my case, for this video, I would type in how to rank uh, your uh, videos on YouTube or how to rank my video on YouTube. You know, that would be something that I would go for. And what I'm searching for as well is uh, one of the videos that has been seen by many people, like this one has 1 million views. And then if you look at this one, it has only 12K. So this would be a video that I want to take a URL from. And I will explain why we are doing this. So all you want to do is click on share and make sure you grab the URL here and save it inside of your notepad. Okay, one other thing that I like to recommend is for you to get the description ready. And that description should be uh, like this one right here, basically a little bit about what your content is all about. Uh, you should, and a lot of people say this, you should have a call to action URL at the very top, but it really depends on the content. I like to put it towards the end, as you can see here. And um, as I just said, you should also search for a video that is uh, highly watched. Uh, so a video that has already gone viral. The reason why is you want to take a look at that video. So in the case that uh, I just used, I'm just gonna go over here. So this is the video that I like because it's coming up under the results uh, for the keywords that I like to use. And then um, as you can see, it has over 1 million views. So what I'm gonna do is copy that URL, the description, and then I'm gonna write a simple message that says this video was inspired by Ryan Dean's video. So you're not doing any uh, any uh, tricky work, you're not doing anything that's not by the book, you're just saying that this video has inspired you to do it. And because you're doing it that way, uh, you have higher chances to rank inside of the recommended section that I mentioned to you earlier. Now the recommended section, let me just scroll down here, this is what I'm talking about. So on the right hand side, you see all these videos are recommended. So what's gonna happen is that your video eventually, not right away, but eventually as you get more views, more vi visitors, is gonna show up in the recommended. So to get in that section, you need to do a little bit more of work, but we'll get to that in a second. Now, one last thing is for the full optimization that we are talking about right here, you also need to have your video uh, name the same way. So if this is what I'm trying to rank for, so the video document, the video file that I'm creating, I want how to rank your videos on YouTube to be the extension, the name of it. That's going to help you get a ranking. Now here's another thing. We need to get the initial boost, power boost for your videos. And this is a little trick that I've learned uh, a little while ago and it gives you um, you see, what YouTube likes is to see you um, getting a retention views. So basically someone who watches the entire video is counted as a boost. 
So it's already a plus towards your video. So, but you also need likes, you also need comments, you also need new subscribers to your channel. And I found a way to do this without having to bug your family and friends to do it for you. Cause you can do it once or twice with family and friends, but then after that, just, you know, it, you'll start going on their nerves and we don't want that, right? So let me show you how you can do that. Okay, so this is a website I like to use and it's called Rapid Workers. And what these people will do for you for a very uh, low money, they're gonna do all the tasks that I just said you need to do. So let me show you how to set up this campaign for them. And uh, basically the account is free to set up. You don't have to uh, do anything, but you know you do need to deposit money into it in order to pay the uh, workers for you. So what I normally do is I just go over to my campaigns and I will create a new campaign. So inside of it, I'm going to say that I want international views because I've tried US, Canada and all that. At the end of the day, I still get international. So I figured this is much better. Then I'm gonna select the YouTube and then I'm going to say like, share, subscribe and comment. And then as you can see right here, it tells me the task is less than three minutes uh, to finish. Available positions I am going to put in uh, 20 in this case, I'm going to say, I want him to earn more because I just want this to be done quickly. So I'll just do 15 cents for each. So that's for 20 people to like, share, subscribe and comment. I'm going to pay a little over $4 and I'll tell you why a little over in a second. So inside of this right here, you want to put in a title. And basically I have a script that I always use. I'll just change little things. So, oh, sorry. Uh, I have so many notepads. I always use notepads. So, okay, so right here, I'm going to take this over and paste it inside of the title. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'll say this task is very simple. And let me just do this. Um, so the URL obviously always changes, but basically you will need to like, watch, subscribe, comment, uh, oh, and share and share um, this video. And then you change the URL of the video, obviously, and then um, they can share on any social media. It doesn't really matter, right? Um, all the comments need to be in English. And I normally put little comments uh, right below for them. Uh, so, uh, thank you. So let me just scroll down here just so you see for this. Uh, I don't know why it's doing this right now. For this. Okay. Training. Awesome. Um, I'm going. I'm And I always ask them to change text a little bit and I always say the text needs to be in English otherwise we do not approve this. So I am just going to um, okay I'm just gonna remove this one because it's not important. Okay so that's that when it comes to that section and then this section right here requires you to um, uh, tell them how to proof this. And what I like to do is go over to a website. It's called Print Screen. Hold on one second. Um, print Screen uh, Light Shot. That's the one. Okay, so this is the Print Screen Light Shot. You can download it for free. And basically, I in this other section, I just tell them right here, um, this, uh, please submit proof by using this software. Okay, and then I paste that here. And like I said, I'm gonna pay a little more uh, for this, but because I want 
uh, this to show up, you know, right there. So I would submit campaign. In this case, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave it open because I still need to show you a couple other things here that you need to do. Okay, so the program that I just mentioned, this is the URL for you to go through. Now, we are just going to cover a couple more things here and we are done with the training, which is uploading your content and putting all of this that we just talked about together. Okay, so we are inside of the YouTube right now and I'm going to click on this YouTube. Now, one tool that I forgot to mention and um, let me just upload a, a random video because this one is not ready yet. So let me just go over to my folder here and I'm just going to try to find a video. Um, okay, I'm just going to use this one. So what I would want to do is if it's a video that I'm using, I would rename this to how to rank uh, video in YouTube. Okay, so this is very important and I think it's your videos in YouTube. Okay, so I would need to do is, you know, go through here and take this title that I've saved based on my research and then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to copy my description right here. I'm going to upload now the YouTube thumbnail that I've used uh, and obviously as I was typing this inside of Okay, so let me just go over to upload the thumbnail that I saved in my downloads previously. Uh, okay, this is okay, so I'll just rename this as well. Okay, so I'm gonna click here and click on upload. And then you can have playlists as well. So uh, I'll just click on how to make money from home because this is kind of uh, in a section, of, you know, this is kind of in that category because if you can rank videos on YouTube, you can make money online. So uh, one of the things that I haven't covered yet and I apologize for that is on YouTube, um, there is this software that I use. They have free and paid versions. So I'm just gonna click here, how to rank your videos on YouTube and then the software is called IQ, uh, Vid, uh, VidIQ and it's right here on the right hand side as you can see and I'm just gonna scroll this over um, so if I wanted to optimize for the keywords that they have used so what I'm gonna do is I can copy these tags um, by copy the tags to clipboard right here and then I can paste them inside of uh, more options and tags I write here. So I always, always add my main keywords as first. And now, so it would be how to rank your video in YouTube. Um, so I'll always make sure Okay, so I'll just, you know, I'll think of keywords that, you know, someone would use. And then you want to go through all the things that they ask you. So in my case, I'm using English, uh, United States, even though I have an accent, right? Uh, so this is fine. Um, location, okay. If I wanted to, so it's how to, and then I'm gonna click on next. And then I can add in end of the screen. So whatever it is that the video I want to show up, I can have that at the end of the screen right here. So I'll just select one of these. And this helps with uh, ranking as well. It's one of the things that YouTube asks you to do. 
so I want to make sure it's public and I can even schedule it if I wanted to, but obviously I don't need to. And then I would click on publish. Now, obviously I'm not going to do this because the video that I am using right here is not the one that we are talking about, but just wanted to demonstrate this for you. So as I said before, uh, what is really important is how you do all of this and it's important that you do it correctly. So give a, a really good content, make sure it's easy to follow, give more resources throughout your uh, uh, trainings that you do. And then um, what we have to say is rinse and repeat because what YouTube wants to see is that you constantly upload new content uh, to your channel. And like I said, at the very beginning of this, um, we do have uh, we did a request from you if you can to subscribe uh, to our channel if you enjoy this content right here and uh, also if you don't know who we are we are uh, Soci Masters and we help uh, train a lot of people to help local businesses with social media uh, strategies and if you're interested in any of that you can visit our website uh, socimasters.com and remember what I said uh, at the very beginning there should be a call to action and this is the call to action that we are using thank you so much